Hello, my name is Diva. I'm a therapist and a Lenormand Cards and Tarot instructor. And today we are going to talk a little bit about the Lenormand Cards in USA and the name G Gypsy Cards. I went to the uh, Mary Kay Greer uh, blog and she has a amazing uh, blog. I, I recommend you guys, if you don't know yet, go there because there's a lot of content, a lot of uh, uh, material, okay? It's just uh, Mary Kay Greer, I think, Dodgers. If you put Mary Kay Greer on Google, you Google it, you, you're gonna show at first uh, her blog. And she has like, I think, almost 20 uh, um, articles about uh, uh, Lenormand cards, and one of those talks about uh, Lenormand cards in USA, and she says that Lenormand cards were very common in New York and Chicago, Chicago uh, um, since then, I'm reading because I, I made my notes, <laughs> then uh, buried me, that Mary, uh, she says that Lenormand cards were very co common in New York and Chicago since the 19th century in German American immigrant communities. And she says also that even though, um, even, even though US games have been publishing the Blue Owl, Maybe you, you already have seen the, this deck, the Norman deck is traditional. It's uh, from AGM, uh, uh, Rania. It's a, a Belgian German uh, publisher, but US games have been publishing uh, the Blue Hour for at least 50 years. Okay. The Gypsy Witch deck with 52, 52 cards has the dominance in the America, American cartomancy. Because the Lenormand cards, if you know or you don't know, the deck is uh, contains 36 cards. But the Gypsy Witch deck is another deck with 52 cards. Uh, as two days, still more popular in the US than the Lenormand cards. It's a red box, I don't have it here, but if, uh, again, if you Google it, it's gonna show it's very popular. And what I, I could see after reading the blog, is that the decks uh, published and distributed in, in US in that time, the beginning of the 20th century and 19th century, um, had their names uh, changed by publishers. Was, I saw on the, the article a lot of uh, uh, Lenormand uh, uh, decks being republished or even distributed in US, because even when they, it was uh, uh, published and, and brought, imported from Germany, would be with both uh, uh, English and German uh, meanings in the little book. And, but, but there was very us usual to change the names, like, uh, that's the case of uh, Madame Morrow's Fortune Telling Cards published in 1867. It, this deck was an exact replica, replica of a, a German Lenormand deck, but in the US, it, it would be the Madame Morrow's Fortune Telling Cards. Was, the name was anything with, there was anything with uh, Lenormand, but it was an a, a, a exact rep, replica, okay? And again, in the same way, we will find Lenormand decks published in America with names uh, depicting the word gypsy, okay? And like Madame Lenormand's gypsy fortune telling card game. They, they, they inserted the, the, the word gypsy and I think it, 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 this was very popular, very, very usual. Okay, it seems that in that time, a simple mention of the word gypsy in the deck's title, or even in its presentation in the box, relating the deck to some Romani character would, would, would improve the sales chances and place, chances and place in business, business competition. So uh, if, if the, the deck 
would have some relation with uh, uh, any character, Romani uh, 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 character, they would say a gypsy, uh, the sales would be better. So I, I realized that uh, the made, made me think that maybe the name for the Lenormand deck as gypsy cards in Brazil, it was maybe the same, the same case. Because do you remember last, last week, I, I explained that in Brazil, I don't know if last week or the week before, but I have been, uh, I have said that in Brazil, at first, for until the 90s, the Lenormand cards were known as, as gypsy cards. And we never knew about Lenormand, the name Lenormand or anything, okay? Uh, so I, I was thinking, made me think about that maybe was the same thing, the same way, the same thing that uh, happened in USA, okay? Uh, maybe uh, the, the same mystification that happened in USA was happening in Brazil, okay? The, the deck mystification improving the product's popularity and sales. And I don't know, it's just... Uh, uh, thinking that I had, but it's a very uh, remarkable coincidence. coincidence. I, I didn't know that. I just uh, uh, read that article from um, Mary Kay Greer, and in the article, I really recommend that you, that you go there and, and um, read, it, read it, because there are uh, uh, pictures of, of those uh, uh, old decks that are all um, inspired in this one, in the Game of Hope. They are all inspired in this deck. It's, a ve it's very simple, it's the Game of Hope. The, the game that gave, uh, gave the uh, um, place to Lenormand cards. And the publisher just changed the name uh, later, okay? Okay. And today we have the card number four, the house, okay? This is the, the French deck. This is the more uh, traditional one. You're gonna see this kind of uh, depiction of the house, it's more common, is uh, card number four, okay? E, this card has the same, me same meaning in Brazil and elsewhere. It's the same meaning, means uh, family, uh, home, good foundation, the feeling of being safe, okay? Domestic affairs can be a symbol for location, like a venue, like a, it can be a bus business uh, location, okay? Uh, for you to know what kind of location, look, look at the cards around the house, around this card, okay? And when family, is the meaning in your reading. Do not see this just as a family by blood, okay? But the family you have chosen, okay? Not always our family by blood is the family that, that we, we consider. So be flexible with this, okay? It's a card for good structure. And in its negative side, you can have stubbornness, unhealthy conservative views, and behavior, okay, backward, a backward standpoint, overprotective or even abuse of power, is it? Uh, uh, overprotective uh, behavior but uh, unhealthy, okay, uh, is not when she, it, it is uh, in a negative uh, side, okay, and that's, that's it for today's guy, guys, uh, next week we're going to be here again with more curiosities and the card number five. Okay, bye.